recognize the Chairman of the Subcommittee on Railroads, Pipelines, and Hazardous Materials, Mr. Denham, to explain the bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, and thank you for holding this hearing. Uh, again, important markup and considering this bill that will generate numerous benefits to the nation and its economic growth. As you noted, uh, this pipeline will create jobs, American jobs, and enhance our energy independence and strengthen our national security. According to the Department of Energy, the pipeline will transport 830,000 barrels per day of oil from Canada to the Gulf Coast totaling nearly half of our current daily imports from the Middle East. This bill makes numerous project uh, benefits a reality. What this boils down to is cutting through red tape, breaking bureaucratic hurdles, and making this project a priority. The southern leg of the Keystone XL pipeline has already been approved, and this bill finishes the job allowing construction on the northern route of the pipeline to move forward. This bill also ensures that the environment is protected. Five years of extensive studies have already been completed on this project. This is the most studied pipeline in the history of our nation. It also ensures the uh, project's routing through Nebraska, which was the primary objection uh, that was denied in January 2012. This is the route that was chosen by the people of that state. To ensure the judicial system is not misused to unnecessarily tie up the project in court, we require expedited consideration of any challenge. People's legal rights are not barred by this bill. The process is simply streamlined. Finally, the bill guarantees that necessary permits will be in place to ensure we reap the benefits of this project in a timely manner by streamlining the process for navigable water permits. Simply put, as President Obama said regarding the southern route, this bill cuts through the red tape. I believe in an all of the above energy strategy, and this legislation is one piece of the puzzle to break America's dependence on foreign oil. Finally, it is important to remember that this project will be built with private dollars and create thousands of private sector jobs. With an unemployment rate still near 8%, we must do what we can to support the creation of private jobs and private industry. This project has enjoyed bipartisan support and I hope my colleagues here today will support this critical legislation for our country. I thank the gentleman for the explanation and uh